when I started the John Puller series, he uh, is in the Army, and he's an Army Criminal Investigative Division agent, CID, and but he was also is an Army Ranger. Um, my father was in the Navy. All my uncles served in the various service branches during World War II. Um, I never served in the military, so I wanted to immerse myself in that world um, before I started writing the John Puller series. I had a friend of mine who was an Army Colonel, Army Ranger. We flew down to Fort Benning, which is one of the largest military bases in the world. It's where the American infantry and rangers train along with the armor, you know, the tanks and all that. And I spent three days at Fort Benning getting my butt kicked from one end of the base to the other, uh, doing the parachute jumping grounds, uh, which is quite interesting. Not something I'd recommend to many people to do, particularly if you're afraid of heights. Um, and I did the sniper range where you're firing all sorts of weapons laying on the ground and yeah, I fired the 50 caliber machine gun on special firing range because the 50 caliber machine gun, the bullet doesn't have to hit you to kill you. It goes past you with such velocity that it can actually rip a limb off without the bullet actually hitting you, and that's how powerful. And the 50 cal doesn't wound, it vaporizes, so whatever it hits is gone, it's totally extinguished. Um, I did the Humvee rollover test where they put you in a Humvee, they strap you in with your, all your equipment, and they have it on this turnstile sort of thing, so they roll it around and around and around and around until you're so nauseous you can barely, you know, know even know where you are. You're hanging upside down, and then they give you the order to egress before the Humvee fills up with water. And egress means just get the hell out as fast as you can. And the first time I did it, uh, I got out so fast that the sergeant who was administering the test said, that's the fastest in 20 years anybody's ever gotten out of that Humvee. And I said, well, fear is a terrific motivator. So that was an opportunity for me to see and, and to see what it felt like being in the military, doing some of the things that those people do who have specialized skills. But the most important thing that I did was I sat down with soldiers, everybody from privates on up to the two-star general who was the commandant of Fort Benning, and I wanted to get into their heads and their hearts about why they were doing what they were doing. Back then, Iraq and Afghanistan were going hot and heavy, so how it worked with infantry uh, whose average age, by the way, was 18 and a half, and we have an all-volunteer army, so all the uh, men who were in the military had volunteered for this. You have 12 weeks of basic training, and for some soldiers, you'll get an additional month of training to get a special type of uh, experience. And um, then right after that, you're on a plane to Afghanistan or Iraq. You're going to be in harm's way. You're going to be in combat. And I asked some of the soldiers, you know, you're 18 years old, why did you make this choice? And some said, you know, we were attacked on 9-11, they attacked our country, I want to take the fight to them, I want to defend the United States. Some others said, this is the only chance I have at a good life, I come from a place with no jobs, no future, no hope, Army's going to teach me some skills, I'm going to make a little bit of money, I might be able to go to college, and this is my only shot, if I survive the war, at a better life, and I'm going to take it. So those are things you can't Wikipedia, by the way. You have to just sit down and listen to people. And my experience and adventure at Fort Benning allowed me to write a much better series with John Puller because I really felt like I had immersed myself into that world.